Hey everybody! This is part two to our unit three and four how-to videos. And in this particular video, we're going to look at using SPSS to create a prediction equation using two variables that have a high enough or strong enough correlation. And so let me explain a little bit about what we're doing and why we're doing this. Sometimes we think that variables have a high correlation, meaning that they, they can affect, not necessarily affect each other, but if one of them is high, you can maybe expect the other one to be high, and if one of them is low, you can expect the other one to be low if, if they have a strong positive correlation. For example, if I think that a student's previous GPA is highly correlated with their final exam score, then I could even take that information and I could produce a prediction equation. And that prediction equation could allow me to plug in a student's previous GPA and calculate their final exam score or what I predict their final exam score might be. Now remember, these prediction equations are based on correlation, so they're never 100%, they're not always accurate, and they're not always right. They're just there to give you an idea of, based on the regression analysis that we're going to do, and based on the fact that previous GPA and final exam score have a high enough correlation, we can use the prediction equation to get an idea of what we think a final exam score might be based on a student's previous GPA. So that's basically what we're doing here. Now our first step whenever we want to create a prediction equation is always going to be to make sure that the correlation between the two variables that we're looking at is high enough. So let's do that first. I'm going to use SPSS to calculate the correlation between previous GPA and final exam points. I'm going to click Analyze, Correlate, and Bivariate because I have two variables. Now you can see we've done this a couple times, but let's put these back. This is how it looks when we begin. And we want to find the correlation between final exam points and previous GPA. So we'll move both of these over. We'll make sure that the Pearson, which is our Pearson R value or our Pearson correlation is checked and we'll click OK. Now when we do this we see that SPSS gives us our correlation results. The correlation between final exam points and previous GPA is 0 .498, 0.498. Now that's nearly 0.5 and it's a strong enough positive correlation for me to feel comfortable creating a prediction equation where I want to use a student's previous GPA to try to predict or guesstimate what their final exam points are going to be. So how do I do that? Okay. To do that, or to create a prediction equation, I need the numbers that, need, that have to go into that equation. Those numbers are often called coefficients. Now the good news is that SPSS will generate those coefficients or prediction equation numbers for me. I just have to tell it what I want. So I click on Analyze, and then I choose Regression, and then Linear. So in order to create a prediction equation, I'm going to use linear regression to get the numbers that are going to go into my prediction equation. So I'll choose that option, and let's go ahead and put everything back. And what I need to do first is I need to tell SPSS which one of my two variables is the independent variable, and which one of my two variables is the dependent variable. Now, whenever you have to answer this question, you need to think it over. You need to think to yourself, okay, well, what are my two variables, and what am I trying to predict? In this case, previous GPA is one of my variables, and I want to use previous GPA to predict final exam points. Because I'm predicting final exam points, that's my dependent variable. 
So final exam points, or what I'm predicting, is going to depend on the student's previous GPA. So previous GPA is my independent variable. Final exam points is my dependent variable in this case. And again, you always have to think this through logically and make sure that you're making the right choice. Then I'm going to click OK. In this case, SPSS is going to generate a lot of outputs. Here they all are. But the one that I'm looking for specifically is called coefficients. That's what I'm looking for here. Because I want to create an equation that uses previous GPA to predict my dependent variable of final exam points. These are the two numbers that I want to grab. The 5.180 is one of the numbers I need for my prediction equation. And the 47.083 is the other number I need for my prediction equation. Now here's what the prediction equation is going to look like. Using those two numbers, and remember those two numbers were 5.180. That was the one next to my previous GPA. And the other one was 47.083. That was my constant value. So my prediction equation literally looks like y equals the first number here, which is my 5.180, multiplied times x, added on to the constant value that I'm given. Let's see those two numbers again. Let's make sure we can see where those came from. Remember, one of them was 47.083. The other was 5.180. Notice that the 5.180 is multiplied by my x or independent variable, which is my previous GPA. SPSS actually tells you this. It says, look, your previous GPA is your independent variable, or your x, in your equation. Here's the value you multiply next to that x. And that's exactly what I've done here. Then SPSS tells you the constant that you want to add on in your equation is right next to the word constant, my 47.083. So to build my entire equation, I use both of these values from SPSS. So what's actually going on here is y is my dependent variable, and in this case, that's final exam points. x is my independent variable, in this case, previous GPA. My prediction equation uses the values from SPSS, and the value next to previous GPA, which is my independent variable, gets multiplied by x. Now, how do I use this prediction equation? Well, if I know that a student has a previous GPA of 3.5, I can plug in that value of 3.5 into my prediction equation, multiply it by 5.180, Add on the 47.083, and it gives me the predicted final exam points of 65.21. That's the predicted final exam points that I expect to get from a student who has a previous GPA of 3.5. So that's how we use SPSS to generate a prediction equation. And that's all there is to it. Thank you very much for joining me for this how-to video, and I'll see you all in class.